One of the comments that I get quite often is, what kind of boots do you wear? But we're going to the area boots for this for this coming summer. They're just a great boot. They're a good looking boot. And of course, you can't get yourself a pair of boots without getting the wife a pair of boots. So guys, if you're interested in a new pair of boots, go check out area. Let's get into the Dual Shield show. Welcome back to another episode of Schofield Welding. I'm really excited to bring you this episode. I got one of my buddies. He's just stopping by the trailer really quick. Uh, Kyle Taylor, one of just a good, good dude, super neat guy, super talented welder, and uh, he's going to be coming here shortly. So while we wait for him, actually I can just see him right now. He's coming. Uh, so I'm going to kind of explain this video to you. I am not a wire hand, so I am bringing out the best that I know, and he is going to kind of walk us through how to set up the machine, how to run this suitcase off of this 400 pipe pro, and and how to get it all set up, where he wants his gas, just the whole shebang, all right? We're gonna go ahead, get everything ready to go, tack up some, uh, I believe it's three quarter inch plate, bringing you guys one of the one of the top hands, all right? So everybody stay tuned, hope you enjoy. We're gonna be running off suitcases today, and uh, he's coming right now in the old pick-me-up. Come on now. I told you already we're bringing in a wire hand oil field welder used to be an oil field welder used to be went to the water line side of it and is not going back and never go you back totally have to can't never say a, never can't never say never but we're gonna stick with water right now yeah so guys I don't know a whole lot about wire probably the only thing I've ever really ran with wire is building welding beds and to be a hundred percent honest that's about it all right so I'm bringing the wire hand uh taylor welding this is kyle taylor out of texas yes sir and you're up here in denver with us well by denver you're working in denver yep denver yep. all around so anyways he's been all over the country just chasing water lines he's been able to stay busy doing that so guys like i said he knows what's up we're going to hook up the suitcase he's going to explain how to hook the suitcase up to the to the pipe pros and because he runs a pipe pro as well and then, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead, get everything set up, and we're gonna let Kyle do the teaching because I'm here to learn. So everybody be blessed, thanks for coming, and we'll talk to you here in just a bit. Take it easy. All righty. This is our setup. Water line. Yes, sir. Leads for days. Yeah. Here's your dolly. So explain the dolly to them. A lot of people don't get a dolly. Look at how the wheels are offset here. The dolly is for riding the radius of the pipe. Um, it's I, so you can drag all your stuff in there. I travel up to a thousand feet. A lot of welders don't want to pull it. I have no helper. I'm the only guy. I'm a one-man band. Uh, we pull a thousand feet sometimes. Uh, it's just what you got to do so you make life easy and you get the dolly. Yeah. Could you imagine dragging all that? That's just not going to happen. You'd be, you'd be mad. You're you're not first happy. hour you're not into happy it. Happy at the end of the day. Yeah. So that that definitely makes your makes your life easy. The arc reach too. Okay. So this is the arc reach. This is Kyle's setup. And you guys go through them way faster than I do. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, like I said, I don't run wire. I don't know how to do this. But on these suitcases, you run your stinger to your suitcase, your ground to the ground, and then the machine has its own ground. Correct. Which is the wire sensor. Yeah. Yeah. It's how you get bolts. It's how you get bolts. Now, what we're getting ready to do, Kyle, Kyle runs mostly slip joint stuff. Where it kind of goes up and over, and then 
which housed new suitcase. Correct. So the suitcase has arc reach. We went to go set the machine and we're like trying to get it to go up and it will not strike off. We're like, what the freaking world is going on? Okay, forgot you do it all on the machine. The machine runs this machine here. I forgot. I run the older 400. Yeah, this leaves. We're good to go. And leaves is a big deal here. Did not know this. You guys, a lot of guys run that smaller lead, number two or whatever. Um, when you're running the wire, it's all about bolts. See. Hi, boss. Here we go. Now show them your show them your nozzle. Uh, what I got here is a Bernard. Uh, it's a 400 amp gun. I'm a little different. I got a TIG liner trying to stake my gun, but I have a uh, Bernard makes an eight inch flex neck for us. A single position gun at about this angle it makes it a little rough. Sometimes the spots are tied, or you need to go backhanded. So with the flex neck, you can turn it. It don't matter either way, up or down, uh, whatever your preference is, it make you comfortable. Totally worth the money. Worth the money. Yeah. Dang. Now this is this is why we got Kyle out here, cause he knows what's up. Wire running booger. It's basically just so freaking hot, it's just spraying it on there, ain't it? That's the way you run wire. Okay. When you get comfortable enough, figure a speed to be hot enough and run enough wire, you just let it spray and move. Gosh. I mean, that's what the name of the game It's all about speed. But in the beginning, you gotta take it slow till you get always told quality before quantity. Speed That's comes later. Be. Speed comes later. Now right now I'm gonna go up another 50. On the wire? 500. Start building. 